All right, how's it going everybody? So I already recorded this video once and I did not have it in display capture mode on OBS. So you didn't get to see any of the like secondary windows that FL opened up at all. <laughs> so here we are re-recording this. I was in the middle of editing it and then realized that it didn't show anything. So let's just kind of go back through and do exactly what I did in the first day. So first off, let me go ahead and show you all what my default project has in it. As you can see, I've got my beat tag here and the delay send I've got for it and I've got it cut so it fits the beat you know typically I'm gonna have it on bar 8 now of course that just depends on the beat I might move it but that's typically where it's gonna be at um, as far as instruments and that sort of thing I've got the clap sample that I like to use more times than not with my as far as my drums go I've got an instance of addictive keys and expand Two. I typically use those two plugins sometimes you know obviously might change it if I'm feeling different but I'll usually use one of those two and it's just a good starting point at, to at least you know get something down and and, you know if I want to change it I can always change it so as far as our mixer window goes as you can see I've got some different colored stuff here I did this a long time ago in like my first default template I did it's not very helpful in the sense that if you don't assign something to the track as in double click here and then click on track see how it will auto assign it and change the color which is fine but if you happen to record something just on it default like this right here it will make your recordings that color and i typically don't like that so <laughs> usually like my guitar templates and stuff like that i've got them set to be gray so they you know fit these track colors over here but as far as what i have on my mixer inserts here I've, i'll go ahead and have that clap uh sent to the mixer here i've got my tag sent and on the master i've got free soft clipper and ozone nine elements so one thing about leaving plugins on your chains when you load them in is that typically they will add to the project load time more often than not the thing that adds the most are going to be your generators or your instruments over here but the mixer channels can still add time to it i typically leave it off now i don't think it'll do much leaving it off here it'd probably be better to leave it off here but i obviously like to keep the soft clipper on and it just maybe adds maybe like five seconds worth of opening time instead of it instantly opening up in here in the little ding so let's see how to set up a new template so i'm going to come over here new from template empty let's say we want to do like i did and we're going to put soft clip on the master and let's say we want to throw on fruity limiter so we've got these two set on the master here um let's just say for the heck of it we'll throw our tag on here all right so i've not got it warped to time but obviously there it is and we'll just go ahead and send it to a mixer track for the heck of it so what we want to do is come up here hit file save as you can call it whatever you want 2023 default beat making default whatever you want to name it for this example i'll call it video template two because i already have the first one so after we do this we want to navigate to our documents and find our image line folder on mac it should be something similar if it's not on mac you may need to look up where the location is so once we go to our documents and image line folder let's find fl studio projects and templates now as you can see i've already got plenty here default old which i made in 2019 default which was the one i was using literally up until um this year and then our 2023 default which i made at the start of may with the soft clipper and my tag and that sort of stuff so next what we want to do find location where you save the new template you just made for me that is right here so we are just going to copy that to templates right here now go back into f fl we're going to go to just you can hit any of the settings here go to general scroll down and we are going to hit default template and find our new template we just made now make sure startup project if you want it to always load to that you have it on default template if not it'll you'll have to navigate up here to the top and hit new from template and then choose whichever one that you've just saved so next up let's go ahead and talk about mixer presets so mixer presets are very simple to make and they are very easy to use i'm just going to go ahead and load up my 2023 vocal chain here if you want a more in-depth breakdown of how to use you know different chains such as the vocal chain or like a drum bus or melody bus or mastering chain please let me know I would definitely like to do that but I won't go into too in-depth into why you know what you need to use and why you need to use it and that sort of thing I'm always changing so this may look different in another week or two who knows so once you set up your chain the way you want it let's say you want to put on an EQ we'll throw on fruity compressor we'll throw on Maximus because I know there's a good DS or preset on here once you have your effects chain set up how you want it over here we can right click on it hover over file and go to save mixer track stay as and just click on it 
Now I've already got this saved as vocal test. I'll just make vocal test one click. Now, if you want to go ahead and rename this first, you can just either middle mouse click or hit F2 on your keyboard. It'll bring up the dialog to rename it. So we can name this vocals, click, and then save it once more. Now, the cool thing about this, if you wanted to duplicate this to another track, you can right click on it, go to file, hover over, save mixer track, and drag it onto another track. Now, you will have it saying the same name, so just be careful where you've got things going or, you know, just make another track. Do whatever you've got to do to keep things straight. So, just to show you all, if we go to record now, we arm it. I'm just going to choose a random input. All right, cool. Here it is. It will say the name of the chain right here. So if you want to leave that blank or you want it to say something here, go ahead. Um, it also will follow the color of your track here. Personally, I do not like, you know, having a different color here. So what I like to do is I like to set it to this dark slate gray right here. 2A, 2A, 2A. So I personally just like it being a little bit darker, but, but it's totally up to you to whatever color you want, however you want it named and that sort of thing. Now, lastly, I want to show you all my personal mixing template. I've actually not used this as much as I would have liked to, and I need to go back and tweak it some. For example, my master chain here compared to what I currently use is totally different. As you can see here, as it's loading everything up, but I typically what I'll do is I'll just go in and I'll get on my multi tracks and I'll just come here to this window, go to all and then just select them all, control L and that will assign them to tracks accordingly. Now I do have to watch here because sometimes it'll assign stuff to my vocal chain over here. I personally like to keep my vocal chain all the way over here. I ultimately, I don't have buses saved. So like the melody bus or the drum bus or that sort of thing. I don't have those saved in this template. I may go back and do that, but typically I'll just make those as I go and then I'll just pull the preset up from here. But ultimately I will route everything to either the vocals. So if it's vocals over here, I'll route it to come out to the vocals or I'll send all the bus masters to the beat and then kind of mix it like a two track so if i want to do like a filter effect or a reverb or something just on the beat it will be only on the beat and not the vocals as well and then of course i've got my master chain right here i've also been doing some parallel mastering so i typically will make insert three my parallel channel and i will go to these two tracks here and go and make an instance of fruity send and we'll side chain them to a track and then choose that send right and then choose the send, the correct send that it's going to but yeah i hope you've all enjoyed this i hope this has been a help if y'all have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or dm me on instagram at siege himself I've been, I've been wanting to do a little bit more tutorial videos and showing how I personally use FL Studio. I feel like even in 2023, you know, a lot of people still kind of hate on FL for recording and that sort of thing. And I primarily use FL. I may go into Ableton to warp something, but I only have Ableton Live Lite, so I can't, you know, I'm limited to only eight tracks and that sort of thing. But I would like to do a full mix process. The next time I have a track to mix, I will definitely do a full mixing video slash tutorial showing my entire process. I feel like there's something better about you know doing it from scratch versus sitting here and showing a mix after it's already been done you can kind of get a better idea of why you know the engineer uses what they use and the techniques and the reasons behind it a little bit better while they're doing it versus you know just showing you after the fact but yeah thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed like i said if you have any comments please let me know give me some more like tutorial or help ideas if you need some and yeah thank you all for watching have a good whatever time of day you're watching this and god bless